We know that Summers has expressed interest to some of the president's top donors on Wall Street. We don't have it beyond that on whether or not he's lobbying. It could be a possibility, but just on how hard he's pressing for it, we don't have that bit of information. All we know is that he's clearly indicated his interest in the job. At the same time, the White House is beginning this process of finding a replacement for Ben Bernanke. They're undertaking the process very much with the idea that Bernanke will not be renominated. He can't be convinced to do it yet again. And when you look at how the president has made some of these past decisions. He obviously has a relationship with Larry Summers. He served as his first NEC director. He was Treasury Secretary under Clinton. And then some of the other names that are out there, we have Janet Yellen, we have Roger Ferguson. But when we get to that crucial question of what motivates, what influences President Obama when he's making personnel decisions, and one of them is proximity, he tends to go with the person that he knows best, and he certainly knows Larry Summers. He knows his strengths, and he knows his weaknesses. Alex? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, Hans, I just want to, um, to jump in for a moment because I'm curious. You know, we can talk about different candidates, but God only knows what the process is like these days in Washington. What do you yeah. make of actually uh, what's happening? Okay, so let's, let's divide it into two categories. Let's say in the first category is the official White House process, and that's sort of who would be the best Fed chairman. And that we're just at the beginning of that process. But there's a second political calculation going on, and that is who is confirmable. And the Senate, Senate Republicans have already indicated that they're going to litigate, that they're going to fight this whole notion of what the Fed's role is, whether it's a dual mandate or what they're doing on inflation. They're going to use the Bernanke replacement as an opportunity to have a big fight. Larry Summers really does present. Senate Republicans with an opportunity to have a fight about inflation and President Barack Obama's economic policies. So there will be a contentious confirmation battle. Now the question is, does that come before or after the debt ceiling debate or at the same time we could have a very, very ugly, messy November, December?